All right. Uh, share ba ko screen? Hopefully. Um, good day, class. So, I'll be discussing to you the Poisson distribution. So, um, Poisson distribution class is used to model discrete events that occur infrequently in time or space. So, they have common assumptions no, with binomial distribution. If you can remember our binomial distribution, it's um it it's used to model discrete events gihapon and there are n number of trials and we want to get the probability of success no uh with x number of times sa isa ka total i mean sa total number of trials nimo so in poisson distribution discrete gihapon siya pero there is they are used in different contexts imong poisson nag imong binomial for poisson distribution um you are, say you're observing a certain event ba in an interval. Okay? And this event happens infrequently. So, dili siya ingon na constant happening um, in a certain interval. So, for example, para ma-visualize ninyo, you're observing number of cars passing by on the street for one hour. Okay? So, pila ka buok number of cars mo pass in one hour. So, wala man ta nag number of trials, no? Pwede pwede walay mo pass nga car, pwede sa infinite number of cars. Okay? So, infrequent siya in time and space. And here, class, N is very large. And you have to take note that N here does not really imply the number of trials because, again, we are not talking about number of trials. We're talking about the uh, occurrences of a certain event within a specific interval. And P here is very small. So, if you can... Recall sa atong binomial distribution. Our n sa atong table lang no is less than or equal to 20 lang. Pero if you really check the table class, pag maabot na taog uh, mga ingan ang number ngan, n is equal to 20, the, no, the probabilities there, somewhere there sa mga values yung probability of success x, is actually very small lang. A zero na siya. Okay? And then, what more kung imuhang p is very very small? So, murag, wala na kayo wala na kayo mag-graph ng binomial distribution dira class. Okay? So, to dili man po ding on ang poson is to solve the binomial distribution no, where n is very large. Pero again, there's they're used in different contexts. Although they have similarities man po. Okay? So, these are the assumptions sa imong poson distribution. First is that the probability that a single event occurs within an interval is proportional to the length of the interval. What does that mean? Balik sa atong example nga, kung ka-observe ka o number of cars passing by in one hour, of course, um, maka-assume ta na if you lengthen the number of interval, for example, from one hour, himunin mong two hours, ang assumption na to is that ang mupas na car will also increase because gi increase man yung length of the interval. So, muna yung first assumption na if you increase the length of interval, the probability po that that certain event occurs um, also increases. Okay? Second one, within a single interval, an infinite number of occurrences of the event are theoretically possible. So, we are not restricted to a fixed number of trials, just like your binomial na distribution. So, here, again, na a certain interval, again, dito sa, ta sa one hour, Possibly, class, nga atong number of cars that will pass by within an hour is infinite. Okay? Pwede siya daghan kaayo to the point nga large na kasi nga number and it is infinite. Makaya siya o calculate for your Poisson distribution. That's the idea of your Poisson distribution. And then lastly, we have the events occur independently both within the same interval and between the consecutive intervals. What does this mean? So, same huang same interval, balik na po sa itong problem, na one hour, uh, events occur independently. independently. Uh, it means that kung naimulabay din ang isa ka car, it will not affect the probability of another car passing by. Okay, So, they occur independently. Also, if you add another interval, which is buhatan, buhato na itong two hours, dili yapon ka affect ang cars that will pass by in the next interval dito sa number of cars nga ni pass by na sa imong first interval. So, that's what it means 
nga imong events occur independently. So if these assumptions class or these conditions are being met, then a certain problem can be um visualized into this Poisson distribution. All right, so what's now the probability of success X? Uh, lahi is siya sa imuhang, lahi kaayo siya sa imuhang binomial distribution in the sense that ang imuhang manggong Poisson distribution aside from the fact nga different ang assumptions, although na siya similarities yung may, um, ang pinaka-kini mo din ang property for your for your Poisson distribution is that your lambda your lambda class is a constant that denotes the average number of occurrences. So, mo siya ang keyword ni mo. If you have a certain problem and you're given with an average number of occurrences of a single event, then, nana sa yung mind, ah, Poisson distribution na siya because we are given an average number of occurrences. So, mo na yung lambda. And that is a very useful nga variable. Diri sa imuhang pag puha sa probability, probability of x, no? So, if you have x, kind of small letter x, let me just use my pen. Oh. Okay, so, can you x, dili class? Muna yung number of success, di ba? For a certain, uh, let's say, population na lang, kay para mas kuan. Dili mo gusto magamit ang trial here. So, in a certain population, how many, uh, what's the number, what's the probability of x happening? Okay, so, that would be equal to e raised to the negative lambda multiplied by lambda raised to x over x factorial. So, ang x, of course, mo na itong value sa number of success, no? Ang lambda, okay, how do we solve lambda? That is given to us here. Lambda class is, aside from the fact that this is your average number of occurrences, it is also the value of your mean and variance. Sa imong Poisson distribution. Okay, so this is another identifying characteristic of the Poisson distribution where your mean is equal to your variance. And that is just simply equal to n times p. Okay, so just multiply your n, which is the population, multiplied, uh, multiplied to your probability of that event occurring. That is your lambda. Okay, so before we get to the example class, let's have graphs lang of Poisson distribution para mas ma kung ano nyo siya, mas ma-visualize. So, if you remember sa binomial distribution, ang ato ang, um, ang effect, the skewness class is dependent on the value of our, of our P, right? So, skewness depends on the value of P. Kung 0.5 siya symmetric, skew siya to the right and to the left if it is less or greater than 0.5, right? For Poisson distribution, in a way, it's the same with binomial distribution because your lambda here, if it changes its value class, mao po nang naakay skewness. Okay? Pero, ang nakanindot dere is, your lambda, since it is dependent, as you can see, sa formula, dependent on the probability, if you increase the number of, if you increase the probability class, you also increase the value of your lambda, right? Now, it doesn't necessarily mean nga if you increase your probability, butang na to mo greater than 0.5 siya, nga mas na siya. Actually, for Poisson distribution, as you increase the value of your lambda, the distribution becomes more symmetric. Okay, so we have this example. Your lambda is 2.4. Wala tagi tagag n, wala tagi tagag p, diri basta gitaganan tag value sa imong lambda, nga 2.4. So this is the Poisson distribution of your, um, of your lambda, of your random variable for which your lambda is 2.4. So, kining a specific example, this is the number of persons X involved in accident. We don't know what kind of accident. Um, basta accident siya in general. And then your Y here is the probability. So, if your lambda is 2.4, ang mong buhato na na, of course, you just substitute the value here sa yung formula. No? To get the um, probability when X is equal to 0, when X is equal to 1, and so on. And this is your graph for, this is your Poisson distribution for that certain value. Now, what if we have different values of lambda? Unsa kay itsura sa ito ang distribution? So, now, uh, this is the distributions for random variables no, for different values of lambda. So, makita na ito, class, when your lambda is equal to 1, it's very skewed to the right. Okay? As I've mentioned before, when it is skewed to the right, ang imong mga values kay gatipok sa imong left. Alright? So, pwede na ito na siya isolve um, using the 
using the graph no sa online pero murag sa ipo na share screen powerpoint ako na na, na, na share pero pwede mo mag mag tan out class sa uh, Poisson distribution calculator sa uh, online and then you input the value of your lambda you can get the graph na diyan diretso so here sa imong left is lambda is equal to 1 so very skewed to the right kung increase na daw siya lambda is equal to 4 as you can see a little skewed gap yeah, to the right, but it's it's more distributed diba, than the left graph. So what if we further increase it? So we increase it to 7, to 10. So as you can see, mas na distribute siya. And pag abot sa lambda is equal to 10, mas na symmetrical pag yun siya class. No? Ang gigamit lang nato during x up to 20 lang. Okay, so it means na reinforce itong idea during class that when your lambda increases, meaning your probability increases or either probability or num or n value na to di ba okay it's dependent man on n and p okay so whichever ana class increases lambda increases and it becomes more symmetric ang imong distribution all right so let's have a specific example ah by the way ang table na po dito table sa poisson distribution no and it's very straightforward than your binomial distribution okay wala naman tagi consider dire nga n so in table A.2 in appendix A kaning a certain book makita nato ang Poisson distribution probabilities. So let's just move that. Okay. So ang K nimo that will be the number of success mao na siya mong x. Although in some reference books class dili na siya mag K mag x na siya diretso. And your lambda naka lambda na pud siya or in this particular book naka ah uh, kining mu nga nga murag micro nga signal no or mu so, that is your lambda. That is the average number of occurrences. Sa taas, okay? So, if we... If we see, ako lang gya po nang screenshot. Actually, daghan pa ni siya up to infinity na k. O, oh, wala akong kabaloon sa git ang specific value sa k. And asa siya nagkuha. Okay? Again, magkagamay mo na. As you can see here, oh, na, na zero na gani siya. Kineo, na zero na siya from here. Again, if you increase your number of k, uh, k value magka negligible po yung value ana kay gamay man kay mong p i ah, sorry your lambda okay so suppose we have we've given we are given a lambda value of 2 class okay and then we want to see the probability of success x is equal to 4 same lang po sa tong binomial ato na siyang tan-aw na yahang value dira so that would be 0 0.0902 okay so that's how you get the Probability from your Poisson probability table. Okay, let's have an example. So suppose we have, we are interested in determining the number of people in a population of 10,000 who will be involved in a motor vehicle accident each year. So pasabot ani is, sa 10,000 daw kabog tao, what is now the probability nga ang randomly nga ma-choose ni mudra nga mga tao is involved, is indeed involved in a motor vehicle accident. Okay? And ang probability daw class that a particular individual is involved in this kind of accident is 0 0.00024. So, it's a very small chance. Pero naaragya pong tayo value mo makukaan eh. Okay? So, the mean, ang pinakauna ni mong isolve is of course the value of your lambda which is your n times p. And this is also the value of your mean and the variance. Right? So, n times p, again, n here is not the number of trials. n is more of the population value. That is 10,000. Multiplied by the probability that your event is occurring. So, that is 0 0.00024. Your lambda is 2.4. So, dali na kayo class. If you want to determine nga sa 10,000, wala daw kay makuha. O wala daw kay, uh, pila ang probability nga wala wala sa 10,000, okay, zero number of people are is, is or are involved in a motor vehicle. Pila ang probability, Ana. So, we just input the lambda here. If you uh, have taken notes sa ito ang uh, formula for Poisson, no? And then this is your lambda raised to x, and then this is your x. Okay, so input lang natin, and you have 0 0.091. Next is, what is the probability that among the 10,000, one person is involved in a motor vehicle. Kanisha nga value, okay? So that is 0 0.218. What uh, what is now the probability for nga duha? That is 0 0.261 and so on. What if tolo? That is 0 0.209. So you can 
uh, solved until definitely uh, ka ng technically any value that you want to get. Okay? So, what if lang mo nga, what is the probability that among the 10,000, five people are involved in a motor vehicle? Of course, you you just substitute the X uh, as five. Can eh? Okay? And then, this value remains 2.4. Right? So, if you graph this, again, in a prob uh, Poisson distribution calculator online class, mo yung graph. No? So, nana po siya value sa imuhang, to, imuhang mean and then your uh, variance, 2.4. And then your standard deviation, wala ka problema because that is just a square root of your variance. Okay? So, muna siya ang 0.091, muna siya ang 0.218, muna siya ang 0.261, and so on. Okay, so this is how, para hinagyan po siya class, if you, you already solve the probability for each value of x, then you can just techni technically or basically draw a histogram for that or a distribution. Dito na sila naglahi sa imuhang formula. So, how are you going to check based sa table? Actually, it's a little tricky because you can see sa table, 0.5 ang yung increment, no? Nya, ang nasolve na alam da here is 2.4. Usually, if you are if you get this kind of value, uh, you round it up to the nearest value niya. Sa table, the, ne the nearest will be 2.5. So, pwede rataan ng 2.5. Although, diligid exact ang atong makuha nga probability. Okay? So, ato lang po ng side by side. So, you have 0 .0, uh, 0.091. Ato in check kung sa value sa 2.5 here. Uh, 0 0.0821. So, medyo layo, no? And then, 0.218. Mahin mo siyang 0 0.0052. Okay? Actually, pwede mo siya is specify based on ni based on nga value you know, between 2 and 2.5 pero um if you're given the table lang ang helpful ni mga bot is just to round it up pero you have the formula man if i ask you for a specific value of probability then you use the formula otherwise kung table ang i-provide sa inyo then just use the table and round up the value si mo lambda ang pinaka nga value okay round up or round down Alright, so that's all for the Poisson distribution. Uh, I'm still thinking on saying yung BIT class, but sige lang. Uh, I'll, I'll think about it and um, I'll share with the class on saying yung BIT. But for now, this is the second to the last and siguro nga distribution, nga itong story, theoretical probability distribution. And then the next will be the normal and yeah, normal distribution and then next. So that will be our face-to-face -face lecture next week before the Holy Week. Okay, so thank you for listening and goodbye.